So last week we had a did not have a show. That's uh, that's right. We did. Uh, I was able to put up uh, some videos, which hopefully you guys saw in the archives, either at the website or on YouTube. Um, so it kind of almost seemed like we were here. And we had a cross continental uh, beer discussion. Exactly, and that uh, was what I wanted to get to. We were uh, on opposite sides of the coast. I'm realizing that right now. We were yeah. both at uh, theme parks with our respective families, having a good time. But it's always kind of neat when we're still. It's technology as dumb as it sounds. It's a neat thing that you know we're texting and sending pictures right. and doing all this stuff and interacting right. in that way. Uh, but while I was out, uh, I did go to uh, one of my favorite places that I like to go to in California for food and beverage, which is uh, Stone Brewing. Uh, and uh, while I was there. I saw a couple things that looked interesting, but this one I was like, I probably should bring this one back. It'll be the most tie-in to some of the things we've had as of late. And uh, I don't know how much longer they were going to have it around because it's a uh, it's a pilot beer that they created. And this one, we'll get into the date on it and that kind of thing too, which I didn't notice till after I'd gotten it. Oh, no. So we'll have to it's two it. years old. It's not that bad. Oh, okay. Not that bad. <laughs> but anyway, so we have another IPA. From Stone Brewing for this Give It a Shot, I'm Andrew. And I am Keith, and we are AboutBeverages.com, and the beverage that we're about today is the Moje IPA This is from Stone Brewing. That's correct. It is an East Meets West IPA, a hazy IPA. Okay. Uh, I believe it's seven, I can't quite read it on there, 7.4% alcohol, so it's not quite a double, but it's getting up there a little bit. Uh, This was actually made by some home brewers, I believe. I think I have this uh, info up. I hope that I can get over here quick enough and not look completely silly. And the Moe is Mosaic, right? Yes, the Moe is Mosaic, uh, and they felt that the cryo hops that they were using of uh, Citra, I think, cryo hops, uh, almost seemed like squeezed OJ. So it's mosaic, mosaic plus OJ, OJ. equals Mojay. Mojay. Um, there's a lot of OJ jokes I could have made right there. <laughs> it almost, we'll, we'll I'm feeling away. a little bit of a pain right here holding them back, but I'm going to do it because I, I just think it's appropriate. Yeah, I think not so to too. Say, I think it wouldn't be tactful. So anyway, or I have tact not you doing are. it. Yes. Okay. I used that correctly. All right, good. Um, it is still fall. But this is not a pumpkin beer. No. So, but we do like the fall. We yeah. do like the pumpkins, though. We do like the pumpkins. Pumpkins are there. There they are. But it's not a pumpkin beer. Okay. So we'll, we'll, so yeah. we'll, 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 bring that, we'll bring that one back. We may have another pumpkin something uh, as we get later on into the month. Uh, there may be a special home brew that we may uh, wind up Oh, that's true. The show. From the award-winning yeah. brewery. <laughs> From the award-winning brewery. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, that, is, that is very possible. So we might uh, wind up having one of those uh, along the way. But I think we are finally done with the, with the pumpkins, so you can, you can, you can put, down, you put down your swords. That's right. There's no more. Um, but I am noticing at the moment that I do not see. I don't know where we've left it. Uh, I'm feeling like the world's a little hey, topsy-turvy. Get, what is going on? Oh, my gosh. What's happened to Phil? He's, he's sleeping. <laughs> he's well, he's or relaxing. He's, or he, maybe he's meditating. He's not oh. dead, is he? No. No, Phil Collins is still alive. No, I know Phil he's, Collins is still alive. But in the picture, I didn't know. <laughs> I think he's he's laying down, which you think would be relaxing, but it, look at that stare. He's still, and he's almost balancing that beer on his nose. Well, I was, yeah, he's he's keeping it elevated above his head with the just his mental powers. Oh, okay. I thought it was the power of his breath. It well, like, uh, it could be. It's like a forced breathing. <laughs> Very strong. Uh, I also envision when we randomly did this with, <laughs> with the graphic as something funny was that he is laying down, but like with his hand, he's holding the beer. Oh, that's oh, like that he's could like be. looking at like yeah. if you're laying down. You're like, like, oh, yeah, okay. So. His hand is on. Yeah, it could be holding the bottom of the bottle there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah like very bottom. He has very strong yeah. hand. He was a drummer. He probably has pretty strong grip. Yes, I would think so. He but the have bottle has to be the size of a drumstick. <laughs> oh wait, no, no. <laughs> well the very you can't see it, but this bottle it's very unique. It's very that's why it's laying down. <laughs> is that it goes like this, and then all of a sudden it goes down to like literally like very thick. It's very <laughs> tiny. <laughs> so he can hold it. Wow, this is still only the. How do they make a twenty five ounce bottle out of this <laughs> or twenty two? Is this twenty two ounce probably? Right? Twenty two. Yep. Yeah, looks like uh, not expensive. It was I believe it was eight dollars at the brewery, uh, part of their pilot series, like we said. So it's and uh, you have had this or have not? I have not. I have did not, not have this. Oh, Oh my gosh. I specifically Good. thought, oh, I'll grab this one. Uh, I've been enjoying their other one as of late, but this one I have not had. So okay. uh, I think we need to grab that back from Mr. Collins. And let's go ahead and uh, open this fellow up here. Oops, hit the microphone. Pardon me. Pardon me. So when you say pilot program, what does that mean? 
So it looks like they're doing a bunch of one-off beers that only can be purchased at the brewery. Oh, So okay. you can only, either, this one I believe is brewed at Liberty Station and then distributed to uh, the other stone locations. Okay. So yeah, by pilot series, it means they one-off this guy. Um, and some of them initially are only on draft, but this one actually made it to that they brewed it and bottled. So we only would, in 22-ounce bottles. So, and so obviously then there'd be no no chance of this getting to Arizona. No. Uh, no. Unless, I mean, unless, I guess if they liked it so much and wanted to make it like a featured limited release. But as of right yeah. now, they have not done that. Um, they have not done that. And uh, I was thinking about, remember there for a while when they were doing those, what, what it was called like the Stochastity Projects? And oh, yeah. They were doing all those different... It seemed like on a regular basis, but I don't. I don't really I see those just, anymore. Yeah, it's just another extension of that done differently. Because like it's part of you know they do the hop revolver series still. You know where they've had the crystal and they've had the some of the other different hop varieties that they single out and do for those. So I still have a twelve, twelve, twelve at my house. So that was the thing I was going to mention. I I didn't notice this till I actually brought this up today when I was I couldn't find a graphic. So this is the best I could do. I actually took a picture of the bottle. Oh, it looks nice. all right. Yeah. Um, but I did find information on it. This debuted on August 10th, 2018. Guess when this bottle's from. Oh, August 10th, 2018. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Synergy. <laughs> so I didn't notice that when I bought it. I assumed it was a little fresher than that. Okay. But I mean, two months. That's not. Yeah. Could still be. It says it's good till into November. So we're not completely drinking it out of their season. That's but, funny. Uh, so will I. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be good until November. <laughs> And then, not so much. Then, yeah, nothing. So it is a hazy IPA, so obviously we'd expect it not to be very clear. It it's, is not the cloudiest thing I've ever seen. No, I was going to say, it's not super uh, hazy either. Which, like I said, I think that's probably the East meets West thing. They're okay. doing, doing the East Coast, the hazy IPA, but then they're still bringing in their West Coast sensibilities. Um, and it seems like Stone has been doing that a lot with their... I wouldn't say they're down on the hazy IPA, but they're definitely like... We got it. Right. This is a little bit of a fad. That was the one we we're kind of tired. Yeah, we're yeah. kind of tired of hearing about it. So we'll make one and we'll make a pretty good one, but maybe not as good as some of the other people that are doing them all the time. And they want to stick more with like we kind of created the West Coast IPA or we're the founders of yeah. that movement. So we're sticking with that. So anyway, that's why a lot of their stuff kind of crosses over. Oh, that's quite nice. That smells awesome, <laughs> actually. <laughs> Yeah, that was that's a that's definitely a, a fruit explosion right there. But with a little bit of herbal bitterness in there as well. Like yeah, kind of get in, in the back. Like initially hit me it was all fruit. Um, maybe not necessarily. There's fruit, juice. but there's like also peach. yeah, and there's a little like zest too. There's it's yeah. There's, it's not just the juicy parts of the fruit. It's also that the rind. Yeah, the, the zestiness. Pith. Yes, the pith. 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 Yeah, there's so definitely pith. some of that in there, which is. Smells really good. Like I said, it's yeah, I like that. It, it really smells like the combination of those two styles because I'm getting almost like the ruination kind of herbalness in there, like at the back end. Of yeah, let's say at the end though. Yeah, yeah. at the back. Yeah, it's yeah. not. It's not the the front part. That smells awesome. Is this getting clearer? I guess it's not clear. Maybe not too much. Yeah. All right. That's very good. I wish I'd bought more. I, <laughs> I'm bummed that I did, even with that date, I would have liked to have had at least another one of these. If you had, if yeah, if this was fresher, I would imagine there'd be even a lot more high note going the on. But there's note. still some there. It's, yeah, it's, it's coming down. Yeah, the but, yeah, I would agree. Were you gonna say like the for me the the flavor is even more leveled. Yeah, like I said, whereas like in the aroma, I'm still getting fruit, and yeah. then oh, there's some bitterness in it. Like this is like. Like yeah. where it's like the fruit and the other one almost intermingle pretty well together too, yeah. which I'm surprised at. There's a nice bitterness, which I've been enjoying a lot of different breweries lately. It seems like with the hazy IPAs have been having a little bit of bitterness at the back and not just being the sweet and the fruit bomb. Even, yeah. even locally here at Pueblo Vida lately, I've commented on a few of their beers have had a little bit more firm bitterness, which is very welcome, I think. Yeah. I, yeah, no, I'm, I, I, depending on the time, the day, the mood I'm in, I, I like it when it's just that fruit, but I also do really like it when you've got that, that bit of maltiness in there. There's also a little like almost a vanilla uh, um, or a creamy almost. It's kind of a high creamy note to me, but um, like a creamy, like sweet or like, yeah, like actually? a creamy, like a, like, yeah. Like, like half and half or like not that creamy uh okay. like a like a maybe like a vanilla custard or something there's a oh. little something like that in there too delicate but like yeah still, very, oh. yeah that the that the but the but the uh, fruit is really good the bitter is really good um 
Yeah, that's it's quite delicious. Yeah, it's isn't very it? tasty. Yeah, that is really good. I yeah, I I bet there was even more of that orange component. Yeah. Like you said, if this was a little bit fresher, they they make mention of like having this instead of a mimosa on a lazy Sunday, and I'd be all good with that. You I don't to, like uh, mimosas. Oh no, I'm coming out right now with a hard firm stance. You're coming out of the mimosa closet, <laughs> possibly. No, I and, and maybe it's just a sham. I don't know. It just gives me a really bad headache. Hmm. Excuse me. Pardon me. Okay. I don't know. Like every time, like I'm like I never. The flavor is always fine, but it just never like mimosas. Just like never excited because I just know that then the aftermath of that. Well, will yeah, be. especially if you know that's going to happen. Yeah. That's not. That's not good. Nobody needs that. I mean, I would if if the if the before math. <laughs> was <laughs> was uh, was me having some delicious scotch and then knowing I might have a headache. Eh, I'd probably live <laughs> the with that. Man. The before math. <laughs> well, yeah. well, we're not gonna we're not gonna address that. We no, have to address that's a real thing, right? The before math. <laughs> that has to be a thing. <laughs> before <laughs> math. Well, if you have aftermath, it's not just math. Bef- it's beforehand, though, isn't it? It's before math. The beforehand. But how can you be beforehand no, that's and tennis, aftermath? Man. Yeah. Before, before he has quite the beforehand that and, Andre Agassi. It's, it's beforehand and aftermath. Oh wow! That's, I don't even know. beforehand. I like I like before math. The before math. I think that's going to be a thing now. That's going to be turned into a meme on this channel. So sure. the before math. The before math. It's the preceding. Yeah, I, I I like this a lot. Yeah, I'm, I'm bummed good. that I didn't buy another one. If you are actually in the area of Stone, even if this uh, is a month and change old, I believe or two months. Two months now be even more after you actually go get it. Uh, I recommend finding one. Uh, Draft would still be pretty tasty. You're going to be driving out. Uh, no. <laughs> no. I'd have to make a trip there and then go right to the brewery Back again. to Yeah. <laughs> Back to Disneyland. This is the most expensive trip ever. <laughs> yeah, that is that is uh, that is very delicious. I'm going to enjoy the rest of that for sure. Uh, but hopefully what also the rest of you might enjoy is heading over to the website at aboutbeverages.com. Uh, that is the place where you can find uh, more podcasts just like this. Not necessarily about beer. We did a lot of things on, we've done wine, we've done lots of different spirits, uh, sodas, gin. we've done a lot of vodka, which water. we did enough of to know that we hate, and it is not, it's <gasps> we, barely useful. We just don't get it. It's barely useful. Yeah. Although there is a new Rum? vodka uh, that I've heard some promise to, and we'll talk about that maybe later. But anyway, okay. any of that kind of stuff, information, uh, light little bit of news here and there, that's the place to go. If you just want the video content and want the... Uh, the quick little rundowns, you can always subscribe to us on YouTube.com. Uh, it's a tiny little website. Just started out. You may not have even heard of it yet. Uh, you can uh, go- Google, I think, is the other thing. That's another you one can that's Google. just going, too. Yeah. They're going to be big. I think they might even be tied in together yeah, somehow. I'm not sure. Yeah. They could be big. Uh, but, yeah, those would be the places to go. And if you want to see what we're having throughout the week or if you want to tweet uh, different things to us, let us know things that we should be having, what we're missing out on, uh, what we should be trying. Like I just said there, Twitter is always a good place to follow us as well. It's true. But as we always say, whether we like it or not, you should give it a shot.